<laughs> this is not the time for one of your mentee bees. I had so much to live for. Correction, we had so much to live for. Do you think he misses me? Duh, death is the ultimate manipulation. People miss you more when you're dead. I just wish that I got to spend more time with him. Mm, what, when he wasn't with his husband? Oh my God, Nora. I'm already upset about being dead. Sorry. Come on, you're hot and can do no wrong. Hmm. <laughs> you reckon we should talk to the people in charge? Like who? I don't know. Surely there's like a union for dead people. The Australian Liberal Party. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, you <laughs> Oh, thank God. We've been here for like three weeks. It's been half an hour. Uh, is there someone we can speak to? Someone senior? I'm Auntie Rose, your boss. Boss? Well, I don't know about her, but personally, I'm a big fan of the Equal Opportunities Act. You mean to tell me that even in death we still have to subscribe to capitalism? Here at HQ, we don't believe you die. You just, well, become ancestors. There must be a mistake. Uh, with all due respect, we're too young, mm -hmm. too pretty... That pot. ...to be ancestors? With all due respect, too young, too pretty, is questionable. Oh, oh God, rude. Oh. Who's in charge? Says here, you two recently died when, when a, a lightning bolt, bolt hit your selfie, selfie stick on a cruise ship, ship while, while you were taking, taking a first, first trap, trap selfie. selfie. To be fair, we were looking like really white. Mm -hmm. Tens across the board. You've been assigned to the Dick Department. Noise. Which stands for Descendants in Crisis. Not noise. Has that always been there? Is that a fax machine? What in the 1992 is this? Uh, respectfully, Annie Rose, um, there's been a mistake. Mm. Aren't ancestors like elders? Mm, that one woman did call you Annie on Instagram last Wait, week. Don't you fucking start. Listen up. As ancestors, your job is to guide our young people. And what are we talking, money wise? There is no pay. Oh, so we're slaves. Your first case is Eric Hutchin. Male, age 18, Papua New Guinean ancestry, a promising rugby league player. Mm, hot. Today are his footy trials. If he performs well, he'll sign with the Brisbane Broncos. Oh, footy, yay! This could change he and his family's life. Except, Eric isn't at his game. He's in a dangerous situation. Mmm, it's giving drugs, it's giving thug life. Mm, my money's on homosexuality. Eric's real dream is to be an actor. See? <laughs> Knew it! Knew it! You were so mm -hmm. right, he's so homosexual. Instead of playing at his trials, he's auditioning for a prestigious performing arts institute. Things have taken a turn for the worst, and we picked up his distress call. Mm, here we go, drama queen. Mm, truly. His safety and future is at risk. He needs ancestral assistance. Yeah, hard pass. Can you tell us how to get out of here? If you choose not to, the consequences are that you get banished to white people heaven. Thank you so much for holding space. I just want to say that I see you and I accept you. Did you know that when the lights are off, we are all the same colour in the dark? No! Okay! Okay, 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 we'll take the drop. We'll take the drop. Good. Yeah. Now meet Eric's crisis. And all our yesterdays lighted fool's way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and is heard no more. A tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. If I have to listen to one more Macbeth monologue, I think I'm going to have to make kill myself. <laughs> now, uh, Eric, is Eric short for something? Eric, what we demand from our actors is that we are vessels. Warm props. Conduits of stories. You see, Eric, words are just words on the page. 
What we demand of our actors, if that's what you truly want to be, is that you can look beyond what is on the paper. Do you understand uh, what we are saying? Is English your second language? It must be. Uh, it's my only. Ethiopian? I'm picking up traces of Samoan. I'm from Toowoomba. Oh, oh. Queenslander. I could have sworn he was Ethiopian. My mum's... Uh, I'm Papua New Guinean, but we live in Toowoomba. Eric, I'm going to give you another shot. <laughs> this time, I want you to bring us back something rooted in your culture. <laughs> I want to hear it in your mother tongue. I want to feel Macbeth. Yeah. Like I've never felt him before. Yes, something more, uh, something uh, tribal. tribal. You have half an hour. Yeah, well. In order to pass into the world of the living, we use the art of disguise. A spiritual vessel, if you will. Some might even say a totem. Or oh, dibs on Beyonce's Renaissance horse. I'm for sure a hotbed of praying. Mm. Your guidance must be dignified. Well, how do we even communicate? Your vessel will feel it. Once your case is completed, you'll be transported back. Unless otherwise. Uh, wait, what, what do you mean, unless otherwise? Well, you haven't even told us our totem. Good luck, ancestors.